A misty night here on Friday in Los Angeles. Under lights is the UCLA Bruin men getting set to take on the San Diego State Aztecs in Pac-12 men's soccer. UCLA coming in with a one win, two defeat, and one draw record in conference play. And they find themselves on those four points level with this San Diego State team, but contrasting runs of form as this San Diego State team really buoyed by a huge win over the Oregon State Beavers, their best in a number of years, 3-0 on Sunday. And UCLA coming off back-to-back -back losses to the UW Huskies as well as Oregon State. So a chance to kind of capture that momentum as we head into the midsection of the conference campaign. And this one breaks out free, nicely played for Foldry. And that's Nate Crockford, the goalkeeper, who's real com really come into his own. Showed nice alertness coming off his line to deny the San Diego State attacker, C.J. Foldry. Right off the bat, San Diego State coming with an attacking posture. They're going to go with three at the back in possession. They'd like to play progressive and attacking football. I had a chance to catch up with head coach Ryan Hopkins now in his third season. And after that 3-0 win over Oregon State, he said it was a disciplined performance that really was buoyed by flawless execution. It's a team that liked to play with aggressive defensive intensity I'll look for them to press a little higher up the pitch and make things a little uncomfortable for a UCLA team that's had a few shakeups in the first 11. Still without Tucker Lepley as well as Tarun Karamanchi. So they've been chopping and changing, and this is a nice run from Grayson Duty. He leaves it over to this near side. Tommy Silva, the opposing fullback, finding his way up to Kevin Diaz, the redshirt senior from Norwalk, California, and a frenetic start to this one as it slips past San Diego State and Blake Bowen. We take a look at the first 11 here for Ryan Hopkins in San Diego State, Jacob Castro in goal. Foldry, of course, on that front line and part of a three-pronged attack today for the Aztecs. Brummett and Rue up there as well with Vialedia and Apolinar in the center of midfield. And they will begin in possession and anchoring at the back will be Kyle Colonna, the redshirt senior looking for a long one into the corner for the advancing Donovan Rue, the redshirt sophomore, and it will come out of play here for the Bruins. And check on the first 11 here for Ryan Jordan, Nate Crockford, Jose Conte on the right side of a three-pronged attack, which is going to be shaping up to be a 4-3-3, and the big shakeup seeing Thomas Rimbaud, the freshman, getting his first start, and of course Cam Wilkerson making his first appearance in the starting 11. The freshman getting a run out after impressing as a substitute in recent weeks. Wilkerson, the freshman from Richmond, California, through the Colorado Rapids Academy. Look at this effort here down this right-hand side from Blake Bowen, his senior. Should be a fascinating individual matchup there on the right-hand side going up against Tommy Silva, who's had a lot of success in the years here against San Diego State. It's the 69th time these two have tangled, and UCLA have really dominated in large stretches. It's the Aztecs on the front foot. High pressure right now for Diaz, and this is what we can expect. They want to win it higher up the pitch, and that's exactly what they do in a sliding challenge from Beto Apolinar. Good movement here, and a nice pace of play in tight quarters, and Apolinar twisting and turning, trying to find his way through now. Donovan Rue inside, brought down by Ochoa, and the referee had a great look at it. And Alex Del Angel not at all interested in awarding the penalty kick. His UCLA coming under pressure early on. They'll leave it back for Noah Cratier, and the Frenchman winding one up, but it's blocked by the Bruins. And the debutant in the first 11, Cam Wilkerson, a furious beginning here as it's pulled back by Rue. And Jose Conte, the attacker, dropping into the zone penalty area to clear it away. So an aggressive posture from the get-go here from San Diego State. Four wins, five defeats, and a couple of draws. One win, two defeats, and a draw in conference play. The exact same record as their hosts. So it should be fascinating. A little bit of an... California rivalry, a Southern California derby, as they say in the soccer world. And bring it up now will be Kyle Colonna, the four-year starter at the anchor of that back three. Shape will shift when out of and in possession. New side for Donovan Rue locates the number 10, Austin Brummett, the freshman, who sets Rue on his way. 
and a shove in the back and some robust defending from the UCLA fullback, Tommy Silva, who's gonna word of warning here, just lashes out with that arm. Shoulder to shoulder. So a word of consultation from Alex Del Angel. Any more on that? And we might see the brandishment of cards. So San Diego State trying to pick up where they left off on Sunday in that 3-0 win over Oregon State. What a win that was for them. Near side now for the Aztecs. Operating under Cretier. The Frenchman fires off a good cross. Nicely repelled by UCLA. Back four. And it circulates all the way to Joe Deleuze, the senior defender from Sa San Diego. Here's Inigo Vialadilla. And Vialadilla, of course, the man to watch who's come back from injury at the anchor of that defense. And at the anchor of midfield, rather, and head coach Ryan Hopkins tell me, you know, he's been an offensive catalyst. He's really lifted our confidence and our spirits. Here's Duty on the right-hand side of that UCLA defense and cleared away by the Italian Pietro Grassi. UCLA had a great start going, had a nice three-game unbeaten run until last weekend when they were blanked in back-to-back 1-0 losses to Oregon State. And eight days ago, and then a Sunday defeat here in Westwood against the Huskies who have ascended to the number one spot in NCAA men's college soccer. And here is Tommy Silva shouldered off it in a muscular piece of defending by Apolinar, throw in for the Bruins. This one has been lively from the get-go and another shakeup in the first 11 tonight for Ryan Jordan and the UCLA Bruins saying this man, JC Cortez getting his first start, the freshman from New Jersey. He's impressed in recent outings. We've seen a variety of players in that center of that defense, whether it be Nick Blasu, as well as Aaron Edwards, but now it's Cortez's turn to partner Pietro Grassi. And interesting to see Grassi revert to a right-sided role in the center of defense with Cortez on the left. This long ball from Cortez trying to pick out Diaz, and he's well closed down there by Cretier. So a throw in now for the Bruins. And it's only conceded on 10 occasions this season. Here's Jose Sosa, and he'll wind one up to that far side. And just tried to pick out that bottom corner. It was clever from the number seven. Did really well. <laughs> Took up the space presented to him. No one closing him down. Had the keeper at stretch, but that one off the mark. So the opening salvo fired from Jose Sosa has really had to adjust his game more of a natural number 10, but deputizing is a number six in that defensive midfield role with the injury to Tarun Karumachi, the impressive freshman. UCLA starting to settle now. Diaz rides the challenge well, but the referee didn't like it. Brought down Donovan Rue, three kick here for the Aztecs. So we're seeing a real physical nature to this. UCLA have had the better of it against San Diego State in recent outings. And you see just a little over nine fouls per game. They keep it clean, but they're up for the fight. And here comes the Aztecs on that left-hand side. Trying to work it forward. Lovely touch from Rue trying to release Tristan Viviani, who's come forward from his left wing back role. And UCLA able to navigate that one well enough defensively. Duty taking up a good piece of position there. Gets the San Diego State attacker. Duty sent off, of course, back in early September in that loss to Grand Canyon. Had to sit out five days later away to Portland, but he's been rock solid ever since. And a permanent name on the team sheet at right fullback for head coach Ryan Jordan. And a man down here for San Diego State. Referee putting a stop on the clock here at the 842 mark. It appears to be Joe Deleuze, the senior, and a transfer from Georgetown University, now in his first season for San Diego State. Really merged as the first choice amongst that back three for head coach Ryan Hopkins. He's won the starting spot for five games running. Big part of that team that went all the way to the semifinals for the Hoyas last year in the NCAA tournament. 
And of course, part of that 2019 NCAA championship team for Georgetown. So a winning pedigree. It'll come off momentarily. A little limp in the step. And they certainly will need him. We are in the meet on the Pac-12 schedule. So we'll see how they equip themselves. So we'll see the change here. The lose coming off. We await the recommencement of this from referee Alex Del Angel, Kyle Colonna. And wearing that armband in the center of defense. And the change we'll see. Elias Katsaras come on from Seattle. Katsaras, a big part of this setup here. Started all seven of his appearances this year and had a big role to play for San Diego State in their big win last month against then number six, Denver. And meanwhile, UCLA Bruins with a man down. It's Pietro Grassi receiving some attention. So both defenders dropping to the floor now. And this one will be halted momentarily due to injury. A well, head-to-head -head matchup between these two, as we mentioned. The 69th time they have tangled. And the 35th time that UCLA and San Diego State have met since San Diego State joined as an affiliate to the Pac-12 back in 2005. And they've only taken four wins in that stretch. And UCLA, as I mentioned, unbeaten under head coach Ryan Jordan against this San Diego State team, a stretch of games that is now in its seventh. And UCLA... You now taking the double last year after a 1-0 win in Westwood in October. And then, of course, a 4-1 triumph one month later last November on the sports deck down at San Diego. Let's take a look at the standings here, the way things shape up. We're getting into that midpoint of the Pac-12 season. How about the job Jimmy Clark and Washington have done? Nine points, four points clear at the top, and not just tied for first in conference, but number one in the country, number five, Stanford, ascending one point clear. Of the rest of the pack, Oregon State, you know, slipping out of the rankings, but no doubt they will be amongst the reckoning and gunning for a spot once again in the NCAA tournament. And there's UCLA just hanging around. So it's all to play for now as we get into that second half of the Pac-12 schedule. We'll see how everybody sorts itself when the landscape is all settled coming up a little bit later this month. But a chance for both of these two to put some distance between each other with maximum points. And good to see Pietro Grassi, the sophomore, coming off. The man from Milan who spent some time as a youth product for that legendary Italian team, AC Milan. And he has been sensational. Had a chance to catch up with head coach Ryan Jordan. He said, you know, he is flat out magnificent. They're lucky to have a player of his caliber, not just a part of that AC Milan youth system, but also an integral part of the Italian youth system featuring for the Azzurri under 17s. Ryan Jordan told me after that loss to the University of Washington on Sunday here in Westwood, he said he's proud of the intensity, just couldn't find the back of the net. It's a team that's creating chances, but overall a positive performance. The big lesson learned, we need more urgency and we need to be better in that final third. And they'll look for that. It's an attack that hasn't scored in over 200 minutes. Going back to that 1-0 win here on the 24th of September against Cal State Fullerton. And they're under high pressure here. And here's the adventurous Crockford trying to pass his way out of that duress duty, supported by Blasu, who's come in for Grassi, the grad student, and the transfer from American in Washington, D.C. And Thomas Rainbow. The New Zealander with a lovely ball to the right-hand side. Conte, first time in, Diaz. And the first piece of business for Jacob Castro. In goal for San Diego State. And the best move of the night for the UCLA Bruins. Well orchestrated. How about this ball from Rainbow? Off the outside of that left boot. Inch perfect for Conte, who serves it up. But it's a little too heavy for Diaz. The positive signs. And... It's really indicative of the way things have gone for UCLA this season. They've had some great build-up play, positive possession, where they dominate the opposition throughout most of their schedule. 
That final piece of the jigsaw puzzle has just been a little bit elusive. 12 goals they've scored. In the space of their 10 games, ranks them second bottom in Pac-12 play. And San Diego State able to take over possession. This is Rue, has the support of Cretier, the freshman from Nice, France. Lovely skill here from Apollinar, who plays it forward for the number 10, Austin Brummett, who's drifted into a wider role, and it'll be a free kick for the Aztecs. Huge night, good crowd on hand. Temperatures starting to cool, kickoff time around 70 degrees. Slight coastal mist coming in, AKA a great night for soccer. UCLA Bruins looking for their second conference win. Same story for the Aztecs. So a throw in now for the visitors. Coming with a pretty decent run of form. With two wins in their last three. The free kick belted in and Crockford comes out to punch it. Nice delivery from CJ Fodre. Well, they can pressure you in a variety of ways. It's a versatile attacking setup here for San Diego State. Trying to turn in, and it's a lovely turn at that from Brummett. Nicely repelled as San Diego State have had a bright start. Dominating possession. And played most of this first 11 and a half minutes inside the UCLA half. But it will be a throw in here for the Bruins. It wasn't exactly all roses to begin with for San Diego State, despite a pretty good run of form. They actually started with three consecutive defeats. They've rebounded, only losing twice in their last eight games since, along with four wins, a couple of draws. They feel they've turned a corner. They feel like they're finding their identity, San Diego State. They'll work it wide to this left-hand side for Joe Deleuze. Here's Tristan Viviani wearing the number 14, the freshman from Redwood City, California. Viviani lets it run, but well positioned is a duty position. Possession all too short-lived for UCLA's lacking as Vialadia plays it over to this near side for Cretier. And a little too strong for the pursuing Donovan Rue. Big night for UCLA. Ryan Jordan said it's a good team. They take their chances. The key tonight against Ryan Hopkins, better starts and take those early chances. Ryan Hopkins, you know, telling me you know, our number one priority each and every week is a clean sheet. They put a specific emphasis on defending. They like to pattern themselves very much out of a Red Bull type of setup. Here's Kretziak. Well, I can't clear. Not very well done from the defender as Conte has drifted over to this left-hand side and done really well. And Conte fires in that one, and it'll be off of Cologne and come out. For, and it will be UCLA corner kick for Tommy Silva and company. San Diego State approach predicated on that Red Bull system that you see, of course, with Red Bull Salzburg, Red Bull Leipzig in Germany. They like to press high tempo. An aggressive defensive posture. Almost a Liverpool type of setup. So Tommy Silva on this near side. And on the outswinger, looking for the head of Rainbow, who knocks it down, appeals for the handball. None given, and Viviani clears for San Diego State. Here's Wilkerson, who loses his footing now, and a chance for the Aztecs to break. And it's worked its way forward for C.J. Fodre, the pacey freshman. He's gotten wide on his left-hand side, but he'll need some support. This is Viviani. And looking for Austin Brummett. He commits the foul. It'll be a free kick for the Bruins. <laughs> Tondre looking for that one-two. Gets in behind enemy lines and just didn't arrive. Here's Kevin Diaz now for the Bruins, trying to mount something of consequence, supported well by Tommy Silva. In this 4-3-3 setup, it's very versatile, almost a total football approach. And what I mean by that, players that can play a variety of roles and positions, specifically 
in the front block of the attack. Here's Sosa, one of those players for Nick Blasu in his first year in Westwood. And intercepted well by Faudre, but it'll come out for a Bruin throw. Bruin's a little befuddled right now from this feisty San Diego State start. Here's Nick Blasu, the grad student. Really put Andrea Choa under pressure. Special night for UCLA number eight. He goes down under this challenge. Transfer from San Diego State. Now in his first year after swapping the sports deck for Wallace Annenberg. Originally from Anaheim. Had a great season last year for San Diego State, scoring five times in 17 appearances. So a goal nearly every three games. And actually scored a goal in the spring of 2021 in a 2-1 win in San Diego. The ensuing free kick and easily corralled by Jacob Castro, who was all Pac-12 first team last term. Now in his second year after transferring from the University of Washington. And some big time saves against Oregon State. Stomping four against the Beavers and keeping that clean sheet against a very respectable team coached by Terry Boss. In fact, the second most saves from the San Diego State keeper this season. Here's Sosa pressuring and winning it back. He did really well against his counterpart, number seven. He's slick, mobile, has great distribution. Here's Wilkerson, who's caught in possession by a Poldinock. And here they come once. This is Donovan Rue. Not a bad effort. And San Diego State once again pressing from the front, winning the ball high up the pitch. This time, it's rugged defending from a Polinar to dispossess Wilkerson. And catching Crockford at full stretch, but Rue seeing his shot well off the target. San Diego State coming in and asking the questions undaunted. Here, just past the quarter of an hour in Westwood. Here's Conte trying to spin on Deleuze, and he's gotten free of his defender. And goal side, here comes Jose Conte, has some options, goes to ground, Apolinar mopping up. It's a good recovery back there from Beto Apolinar, the number 25 shirt in white. Conte did really well to just slip around Deleuze, found himself with plenty of space, but took an extra touch and then allowed Apolinar to track back and recover. He's covered a lot of ground, Beto Apolinar, the freshman from El Camino here in Los Angeles, El Camino High School in the San Fernando Valley. It's really been impressive. Played his club ball here in the San Fernando Valley for Real SoCal, one of the better established clubs in the Valley and here in Southern California. No goals between San Diego State and UCLA. Brought down by Ochoa, the former Aztec, against his old mates, and he's brought down by Viviani. <laughs> Fifteen new freshmen, Viviani amongst them here. A lot of new faces for San Diego State. And their best season last year, 2021, their best campaign in five years. Eight wins, seven defeats, a couple of draws. None of those eight wins, the two of them in conference play, but went unbeaten in non-conference play in 2021 for the first time since 2005. Here's Rue trying to slip past Silva. He's clear it's only as far as Wilkerson. It's broken nicely for Blake Bowen. Squares it at the top now. Brummett waits for Viviani who enters the penalty area. Pulls it on that right foot, switches the point of attack, and riding in strongly was Blake Bowen who couldn't get a hold of it. And right now, San Diego State pinning UCLA in their own half. And a look at it, Viviani not closed down. Plenty of space to operate, just picks out that run there from Blake Bowen, the senior from San Clemente. San Diego State starting the better of these two. But a key conference clash. Just trying to create some separation amongst that log jam of teams locked up on four points. 
Throw it here for the Aztecs. Touch from Fodre. And that one driven across and entirely miss it, and it will come out of play. And while San Diego State coming off its best season in five years, last year was the best season in six seasons for the UCLA Bruins. Winning 11 games, losing just seven times with one draw, finishing third in Pac-12 behind Oregon State and UW. And more high pressure here from San Diego State. Escaping that pressure was J.C. Cortez, the freshman on his first start as a collegiate. They're making life difficult, and Ryan Hopkins, the head coach for San Diego State, has to be pleased with this. Now in his third season, trying to turn this program around. Stepping in is Cretier, the Frenchman. Can't garner possession in Rainbow. Does really well. And a nice recovery once again from Apollinar, who's the fireman back there putting out those fires. Thomas Rainbow, born in France, raised in New Zealand, and came through that Vancouver Whitecaps Academy up in British Columbia. Talk about a cosmopolitan career, and now trying to find his feet in the United States. And his first ever start for the UCLA Bruins. Here's his strike mate Diaz. Conte has drifted to his central role, finding Rainbow. Good support now from Ochoa, and Ochoa calls his own number, turned aside by Castro. And it will be a UCLA corner kick. Speculative here, a half chance. Starts with Conte, simple ball in, and quick feet here from Rainbow. Shown a good ability to combine for a big striker. Castro had it covered all the way. So Tommy Silva trots over to take it as we hit the midpoint of half number one. Great to have you along on Friday night under lights in Pac-12 men's soccer. Goal is between San Diego State and UCLA and Tommy Silva's corner just over the head of Thomas Rainbow. He's multi-dimensional, Rainbow. This is why. Neck and neck with Cretier just over the top. Took a deflection out. So another chance here for the Bruins via the corner kick. So it could be an outswinger now. Once again, it'll be Silva, the left fullback. Ochoa joins in along with Blasu. The header is won by J.C. Cortez. A series of head tennis inside the San Diego State box, and it drops for Sosa, who locates Silva, pumps in a good-looking cross. The header was on, and what a delivery that was from Tommy Silva in UCLA with a wonderful opportunity to break open the scoring. Started here with Sosa with a smart ball, and this cross really is on a rope. Straight in, Diaz couldn't connect with it. I'm not sure how much Rainbow knew about it, but that was a great opportunity for Diaz. He has to do a little bit better with his header. So a shake up in the first 11 here. Thomas Rainbow, along with Cortez and Cam Wilkerson. The freshman getting some starts for head coach Ryan Jordan. Back to the other end now, and the keeper clears it away. Castro. He's like going with those three freshmen, along with three sophomores, three juniors, and a couple of seniors. The starting 11. Things changing though with Grassi. Subbed off, and now the grad student Blasu entering the fray. And here's the aforementioned Blasu, the transfer from American, now in his third school, starting his career at Kentucky before moving on to Washington, D.C. And subsequently, here in Westwood, here is Kevin Diaz, supported by J.C. Cortez from Ridgewood, New Jersey, part of that New York Red Bulls Youth Academy. Silva trying to round his way past the challenge of Blake Bowen. He's had a lot of success. Three goals and a couple assists in four games against San Diego State, Tommy Silva. As tenacious as they come. Has soccer in his blood. His dad 
Played at UC Davis. His mom, a marathoner. Kid has a tireless engine. Brother runs track and cross country for Stanford. Get up and down that line all night long. And one of the big reasons why he's ranked third in assist in Pac-12 conference play with three helpers on the campaign. Here's Rainbow with a nice flick forward. But all the way back to Castro. So UCLA growing in their positive approach. Becoming a little more comfortable. So they'd just like to get a foot on the ball and garner more of the possession. But they've given San Diego State a couple of things to think about. Six different goal scorers this year for the Bruins against a San Diego State defense. And he's conceded 12 goals. Hasn't been exactly watertight. In fact, those 12 goals, second most in Pac-12 play through those first four games. All the way back now for Kelowna. And we'll go the direct route, picking out C.J. Fodre, the freshman. Supported well there by Viviani, and it comes off of Ochoa, and it'll be a San Diego State throw. Such a big night for Andre Ochoa, going against his old mates. Nicely flicked through now, and it's in, and it's off for San Diego State, and perhaps the wrong decision from Fodre, who was trying to be unselfish and squaring it for Austin Brummett. Really beautifully slipped in, the San Diego State striker. And just a moment of indecision inside the penalty area. And now a chance for the Bruins to break the other way. Silva, lovely interplay with Rainbow. It breaks kindly for Ocho, has got the support of Grace and Duty. This is better from the Bruins. Wide for the Spaniard, Conte, who drops that shoulder and heads for the byline. Conte with a smart ball in, but Joe Deleuze, perfectly positioned for the Aztecs. Wilkerson helps it on. Here's a Cho in that gap of space. Locates Rainbow, who's dropped deeper, calls his own number, and an ill-advised opportunity taken by the New Zealander. And nothing of menace or trouble for Jacob Castro. They've had those positive moments and some slick passing from the Bruins through the midfield in that middle third. You give them time and space, and they're amongst the best passing teams in the country. Basu loses out to Brummett. Silva trying to go the direct route on the inside out run from Conte. Here's Diaz, who's dropped off into a left sided roll in the attack. It'll be a throw in now for the Bruins. Ochoa. And he's a slippery figure, dropping into that attacking role, trying to become that link and knit the midfield to the attack, and he's brought to ground. Referee waves play on, and San Diego State able to win it back. Wide on this left-hand side. This is Austin Brummett from C.J. Fodre. Plays it into the path now, and it's nicely set up, and it's driven in by Blake Bowen. Once again, Crockford covering up at his near post. Good counterattack from San Diego State, showing off their attacking versatility. Played in by Brummett, who in turn plays Bowen. Touch just got away from him and made that angle a little bit more difficult than necessary. First substitution, Isaiah Lewis will come in and replace Austin Brummett. Lewis, the freshman from Everett, Massachusetts, making his way up to the Northeast after being born in Haiti. Real powerful number nine. Still looking for his first goal as a collegiate athlete. So a change in the attack. We'll see how it affects the complexion of things going forward for the Aztecs. But here's Jose Conte finding his feet in a central role, and it's a 2v4. Conte's done really well. And support now on this left side from Kevin Diaz, who twists and turns, and no way to beat Cretier, who did brilliantly defensively. And Silva now wins it back. This is Ochoa. Can't find the link. 
Biela Dant with possession all too short lib, but Fodre there to keep it going and trying to put it in the path of Lewis. No position is Nick Blasu, who will have his hands full against the strong and sturdy Lewis. And here's Sosa down under the challenge of Donovan Root. Referee's going to call the stoppage to the clock. Remember, there's a UCLA team a little thin in that defensive midfield role as Sosa's deputizing for the injured Tarun Karumanchi. Had a real impressive start in that defensive midfield spot, that number six or contention position, just in front of that back four is Rue a little too over-exuberant. He's gonna get a word of warning from referee Alex Del Angel. It's Sosa and Anaheim. Third year transfer from Pacific. Arrived at this program. Following Ryan Jordan from Pacific. Jordan trying to turn around this UCLA program. Really starting to take its shape under the fourth year head coach. So Rue giving a word of warning and a chance for both coaches to confer. UCLA now have gone 244 minutes without a goal since it last found the back of the net here in Westwood on September 24th from Costa Michaelides. That 1-0 win over Cal State Fullerton. So throw in now for UCLA as we head into the final quarter of an hour of half number one. Both teams probing, creating the chances, asking the questions, but just really lacking that finishing prowess. Here's Wilkerson for Tommy Silva. Diaz dropping off and San Diego State able to win it back. This is Bowen who drifts over the touchline and out of play. So throw in now for Tommy Silva. Bruins 5-4-1. Trying to pick up the pace after a couple of conference losses. Some tough 1-0 affairs to both Oregon State and UW. This is Silva for Blasu. Nowhere to go is he's closed down by Fodre. A little casual from Blasu. Supported well by Crockford. He did nicely. So essential for any keeper to have good feet. And Rainbow dropping into his own half. Sosa. Switch it out wide for Silva. Lovely first touch for the UCLA fullback, but in the end, pretty easy for Bowen. Just pick out his angle and win it back. Here comes San Diego State. This is Isaiah Lewis, the substitute. He'll need some support. Well done by the Bruins, who are able to get it back now and a chance to break as they've gotten in behind that midfield line. Andrea Cho with a full head of steam. It's a 3v5. Achoa stopped cold. Brilliant defending from Joe Deleuze. The Georgetown transfer. Didn't he do well? And Bowen trying to drop that shoulder, just ghosts right past Wilkerson. Here's Rue. Bowen. Good coverage from Jose Sosa. For the advanced Tommy Silva. Want to close down the attacker. They'll switch it out for Tristan Viviani. He's had some positive moments. And Viviani with a half chance on the edge of the box, but well off the mark. And that will prompt another substitute. Well, Ryan Hopkins in San Diego State. And Rami Jaredly, the freshman forward from Chino Hills, getting set to take the pitch. And Riley Furch coming on for UCLA. Cam Wilkerson, the freshman getting his first start. And they're playing over a half an hour against UW. Comes off and we'll see Riley Furch. He really can play almost as a deep-lying playmaker. Like for like in that regard. Still that 4-3-3 setup with Sosa in that holding role. Dual number eights in Furch, as well as in Shoa. Important game this.
One team's trying to snatch that momentum. In the postseason, a distant thought on the horizon, but in the back of their minds nonetheless. It's broken nicely in the center of the part. Bieladea and Bowen with a poor first touch, allowing Silva to come in and clear, but it's only as far as Cretier. Bieladea now for Blake Bowen once again. Bowen, good looking cross, trying to pick out Lewis and, and with some in JC Cortez. Interesting move here is Vlasu on the right side of that central defensive pairing and Cortez tending to his duties. Read it well. Nonetheless, the corner upcoming in the first of the night for San Diego State. Vialadea coming off and Henry Smith Hasty coming on the second year transfer from SMU. Here from the Los Angeles area, actually played just down the road, a stone's throw from here with his club side, Santa Monica United as a youth. So he'll check in wearing the number 17 in white. So UCLA will mark up at that near post with Riley Furch. San Diego State trying to capitalize off this dead ball as it's swung all the way over everybody. Not the best of deliveries. That time from C.J. Fodre. It'll drift out here for a UCLA throw-in. San Diego State usually really dangerous from set pieces. Score both of their goals against number six, Denver. From set piece situations. Here's Diaz back the other way. Furch with those fresh legs squared out in front. And Ochoa hits it first time, but couldn't steer it on target. A lot of space for the former Aztec to operate. No one closing him down. Very deep, San Diego State. And Ochoa just has to do a little bit better. Had time to take a touch. And Andre Ochoa has been a real boon to this midfield. Came through that LA Galaxy Academy. You're just south of Carson. He's played a role in two goals, scoring one in his 11 appearances so far in his first year in Westwood. Thrown on the opposite side now, UCLA. On the approach from Conte. Stepping in is Cretier. Here's Isaiah Lewis. Grayson Duty able to just sneak in there. It'll come out for an Aztec throw. A lot of young faces for San Diego State. But a team coming together. In fact, five freshmen in their first 11 tonight for head coach Ryan Hopkins. That gives you an idea of how young this team is. Youth shall be served. So all the way back for Blasu, the grad student. This is Cortez, the freshman. Silva. Good spacing from San Diego State. Dropping into that 4-3-3, went out of possession. Furch. All the way back to the sophomore keeper, Crockford. He's been utilized heavily tonight. A variety of saves, but Nothing too serious to deal with. Salsa passes it around now. Cortez under pressure. Finds his way to Silva. Aggressive pressing now from San Diego State. That's their bread and butter. This is Jose Sosa. The red shirt senior trying to find his way to Conte to no avail. And it breaks nicely for Beto Apolinar. And Apolinar picks a really good pass here for the substitute, Rami Jared Lee. Jared Lee, the red shirt freshman. Trying to work his way past Silva. Much easier said than done. And it'll come out here for a Bruin throw. This is grace and duty for the UCLA Bruins. And once again, an aggressive tackle. Well done from CJ Fodre on that left hand side. He'll get that early ball in. Bowen is there, and he couldn't break it past Crockford. 
He got goal side of his defender and a wonderful opportunity here for San Diego State. UCLA let off the hook as Bowen couldn't generate the power, took a bounce. And a defensive let off from UCLA goes unpunished. Blake Bowen who had that goal on Sunday, their second against Oregon State. Unable to find the back of the net and really generate anything too troubling for the UCLA keeper. Credit to Crockford who held his ground well. Closing moments of half number one. J.C. Cortez. Bypassing the midfield and it's a poor ball forward all the way to the San Diego State keeper, Jacob Castro. This is Colonna, a four-year starter. And Jared Lee couldn't control it. Shepherded well by Tommy Silva. Pretty evenly poised game. Here's Furch dropping into a real deep roll. Looking to go direct, trying to pick out Diaz, but it's Noah Cretier underneath it for San Diego State, and a man down. It looks to be Henry Smith Hasty. <laughs> this challenge right here just collided with Rainbow. Nothing too malicious on the intent to coming together, but a free kick and a foul nonetheless. Five minutes to go until halftime. This one in the balance. This is Kretier. Jared Lee, well won back from Riley Furch who got stuck in. Furch can play as a six or an eight. Really comfortable in the center of the park and high pressure on Crockford once again. A little uncomfortable out of the back on his left foot. It drops down for Jared Lee and San Diego State have it back. And Jared Lee trying to round his way around Cortez who held his ground nicely. So a good outing for Cortez in his first ever start. <laughs> Couple of substitutions now. Aaron Edwards will replace Jose Conte in the attack. And Costa Michalidis the Cypriot will come in on the left-hand side as Diaz will come off. So Lewis will come off for San Diego State. And another change up front is Javi Camargo, the freshman from Oceanside, will take up a role as really a false nine, it appears, wearing the number 30 in white. We'll see all changes in the attack for both of these two. And a little bit of a different wrinkle as we head into the late stages of half number one. Here's Colonna. Trying to pick out the substitute who just came on, Camargo. Once again, the busy Crockford who hasn't actually they make too many saves tonight, just the one. It's broken nicely on a cheap giveaway. It's broken for Smith Hasty trying to play it over now. Fodre plays it into the front and Cortez just gets a foot in for the Bruins who were pinned back. Great build up play from the Aztecs. Well, they are quick in possession and able to transition so slickly. Bowen rises, wins the header right over Sylvan. That one belted by Apollinar well high. And UCLA can take a breath. The Aztecs just all over them. And this is a great header here from Bowen, just overpowering Silva. They don't clear their lines, and Apollinar just hits it first time. Been well high of goal. It's been good tonight, Apollinar. Redshirt freshman from LA here. Big part of the setup. It's a rare starting role for him though, just three times, his third time in the first 11. Here's Camargo for Apollinar. San Diego State looking for a positive finish. Less than two minutes left in the first half. Nowhere to go for C.J. Fodre, who also scored against the Beavers on Sunday in that 3-0 win. Such a big victory for them. 
Wide to this left-hand side, Viviani takes a bounce and it's cleared away by Tommy Silva. A long punt from Deleuze. Fodre trying to round his way past Blasu. No call from the referee now, and it's broken for the UCLA Bruins. Smart ball from Silva, or rather, Silva to Rainbow. And it was Rainbow tried to flick it for Furch to no avail. Here's Kretzier. San Diego State just trying to settle here as we are in the final minute of half number one. And a mistake at the back. Could present the last quality chance to build something positive for UCLA before the break. Started under heavy duress, grew into the game, but they haven't created enough clear-cut chances. Likewise, the same could be said for San Diego State. Here's Edwards, who's brought to ground under the challenge from Fodre. Easy call for the referee. Fodre, lucky not to have been cautioned. Referee is going to call a halt to this at 20 seconds on the clock. Puts a mark down, and it'll allow UCLA to set up shop here. So look here. Duty just plays it. Touch just gets away. And just simple foul from the back. Nothing too serious as Silva pumps it in. 15 seconds left. Chance now for Silva trying to poke it through for Ochoa. One last break perhaps is on for C.J. Fodre. He's got to get it in gear now with five seconds left, and Fodre's bungled over. And play will be stopped with two ticks left. And this is going to be a booking for J.C. Cortez. A tactical foul made by the freshman who didn't have much choice as Fodre got in goal side. Have a look at it. This comes in from behind. It's to shove as Fodre did really well to get goal side. So JC Cortez, his first ever yellow card as a UCLA Bruin. And perhaps one last chance for San Diego State with two seconds left until halftime. Make sure you join us coming up the break. We'll have a look back at the first half, highlights and stats, and all that coming up here at halftime on the Pac-12 Network. First things first, however, San Diego State with an order of business. Can they finish the first half with a flourish, as they say? Standing over it, the irrepressive freshman C.J. Fodre. It's been a breath of fresh air, involved in a half dozen goals so far. Score of four, wearing the number seven in white conspiring with Beto Apolinar. What do the Aztecs have up their sleeve here? They brought Bowen forward, Jared Lee, as well as the central defender, Kyle Colonna, in the mix as well. Driven in by Fodre and entirely overcooked. Disappointing in the end, and that will do it. First half in the books, and the body language kind of describes it. Both teams with some positive moments in the middle of the park, asking some questions. Eight shots for San Diego State, two of which on target. Five shots for the Bruins, but Nick Crawford dealing with it well enough. The Bruins with these two teams with one win, a couple of defeats, and a draw so far, but differing runs of current form right now. UCLA, of course, now have gone five consecutive halves without scoring a goal. You have to go back to that Cal State Fullerton clash on September 24th and that 1 0 win, the last time they found the back of the net. So, no goals for the third game running. It's becoming a little bit of a problem trying to find that extra bit of quality in front of the net. San Diego State coming off a great outburst, their strongest in a number of years, putting three past Oregon State. And it came, of course, just three days after a 2 0 home loss by then number two. University of Washington. So we are all set. 
and it will be San Diego State starting us off here at half number two in their white and red. UCLA going from left to right in their blue and gold, trying to curb a two-game losing streak. And we are underway. Great to have you along once again for Pac-12 men's soccer. And it works nicely now for Donovan Rue, who gets his way on the right-hand side. Strong, spry start from San Diego State, played in by Bowen. That sits up, it's C.J. Fodre. And well positioned is Grayson Duty. It's a wonderful reading of the game, the UCLA right back. Here's Inigo Vialdea. Vialdea just trying to get his feet wet. Now Fodre with the touch, puts it on it. Great save, wonderful reactions from Nate Crockford. <laughs> Fodre took that touch, it might have taken him a little bit farther away, but he's beautifully played in here. Well weighted. Flag stayed down. Crockford with goalkeeping fundamentals. Career high four saves over the weekend for the UCLA man against UW in that loss. Very much up to the task once again. So the ensuing corner kick and the referee is gonna call this one back, spotting some pushing and shoving inside the six yard box. mentioned this defensive fortitude team that's only conceded on 10 occasions coming into tonight. A defensive record that ranks equal third best along with the Oregon State Beavers. Midway through this Pac-12 men's soccer campaign, the Bruins try to get a hold of it for their first meaningful spell of possession in the second half. Here's the former Aztec, Achoa, the careless giveaway, Inigo Villaladea. We're in the captain's armband, who really hasn't had much influence in this one. In that central midfield role. Here's Donovan Rue, a redshirt sophomore from Davidson, North Carolina. Strong start to half number two here for the visitors. Always a fun game when these two tangle. Breaks now for Andre Achoa. Possession though, all too short-lived. Here's Villaladea, pushed forward by Viviani, but once again, there's Silva to intervene now, and the Bruins able to get it back. Costa Michalidis for Thomas Rambeau. He keeps his spot at center forward. He can drop deeper and facilitate the play. Difficult ball for duty to control, but it's well played out. Throw in now for the Bruins. You see like six games unbeaten against San Diego State. Of those six, four resulting in victory. So Nicholas Blasu continued to deputize for Pietro Grassi, who had to come off in the first half injured. It's a big miss for the Bruins in the center of that defense. The Italian has just been sublime. That one last off of Fodre, throw in now for the Bruins, who stick with Edwards here on the right hand side of the attack. Hard running from Rainbow, who's muscled off of it by Elias Katsaros. And the German by way of Seattle, Washington, able to win it back. Rainbow, all active. Almost a box-to-box -box striker if there ever was one. Here's Noah Cretier, careless himself. A little sloppy from San Diego State. This is Jose Sosa, only too happy to oblige, finding his way to Andrea Choa. And the Bruins could do with a good piece of possession, but it's Sosa who's bungled down by Tristan Viviani. Free kick for the UCLA Bruins. Sosa's slippery. And it was Viviani's foot in. Brought down the Bruin number seven. Tough to play against. And playing out of position tonight, Jose Sosa deputizing for the injured. Tarun Karamanchi asked to play that number six. His usual role a little higher up as a playmaker. He'll defer on the free kick for the number 10, Riley Furch now, who has the options. Pegs it all the way back. Good looking ball in. It asks some questions. I believe it was Bowen back there to head it clear. But it was a deep ball in from Furch. who caused some problems. Good delivery. Keeper kind of caught no man's land. Indecisive. San Diego State doing just enough. This is Rainbow. 
And Riley Furchin dropping all the way deep in between those two central defenders, Cortez and Blasu. This is duty for Edwards. A little telegraph now, but it breaks now, and Edwards has space. Flag is down for the UCLA winger. Edwards drives it across, and nicely repelled by Kyle Colonna. Here's Sosa now. Square something Bruin for the Bruins. And this is Silva's ball, and Colonna there defensively again. Backing down is Ochoa, fighting and twisting and turning, but eventually Jacob Castro corrals it. He's up for it, and Ochoa against his old team. San Diego State put under pressure early on to start. Good beginnings for both of these two in the second half. Andre Ochoa relishing this moment. First time he's taken on his old team after spending his freshman and sophomore years at the sports deck down in San Diego. Here's Apolinar trying to put it into the path for Bowen. Once again, a great reading of the game from the UCLF fullback, Tommy Silva. You may remember Silva with two goals and an assist last November. Big win for the Bruins. One of his two braces, scoring six times in 2021. Played a role in 10 goals for the Bruins last year. Searching ball over the top. Katsoros is there. Made it difficult for Viviani, who did well. Nicely played by the freshman to restore possession. Inigo Villadea. Yes, tech captain now for CJ Fodre. Fodre, timely ball in for Donovan Rue. Flag had gone up offside against San Diego State. Good idea. Some nice interplay and those triangles starting to take shape. Talked about the defensive focus for San Diego State, the emphasis lately on attack. Those three goals against Oregon State, by the way, the most that San Diego State has scored going back to 2017. Currently the third best attacking record in Pac-12 men's soccer with 15 on the season, three of which scored from the spot, but they're on the back foot here. Here come the Bruins. And Ochoa couldn't gather it. Here's Furch able to mop it up, tried to play in Rambo, and Furch pays the price. Roughed up there. Villaladea with a sportsmanlike gesture. <laughs> Came in full throttle, didn't he? And that's the way Riley Furch approaches the game. The kid just leaves it out there. Looks as though there's a player down for San Diego State. So the referee calls a halt to proceedings here on the 52-44 mark. Tough to see who it is. Could be a case of the cramps. It's that time of year where these players' fitness is tested. They've been training together for just over two months. Good to see Apolinar back up. He's been great. Probably will have to come off here and force Ryan Hopkins into a substitution. Covered a lot of ground, Apollinar, tonight. But those doubles, so difficult. Back-to-back -back doubles here for San Diego State. To go in against the Beavers. As well as the Huskies. And a little bit of a break coming up. Don't have to tangle with the University of San Diego in a non-conference game until next Saturday, so... They'll see a substitution. They'll bring back on Henry Smith Hasty, the senior here from L.A. Went to Loyola High School in the downtown Los Angeles area. Second year transfer from SMU. His brother Elliot actually playing soccer for Boston College. Play resumes now with Jose Sosa on it. Fizzed one in there for Andrea Choa. You see, they're just trying to quicken the pace of this one as Blasu utilizes Crockford. It's been a little uncomfortable. The ball on his feet, but he's done the job despite some nervous moments. Here's Silva, lovely ball played for Ochoa. It opens up this right-hand side of the field and the hard-charging duty trying to play it into the path of Edwards, but 
It's a timely intervention back there from the number three, Elias Katsaros. UCLA on it now. A little blood in the water for the Bruins. Costa Michalidis finally getting the touch, trying to drop that shoulder and well defended on the right-hand side by Blake Bowen. Dropping back and deforming his defensive duties to very good effect. And back the other way, it'll be a free kick for San Diego State. You know, this opportunity moments ago, tried to get it going, duty, trying to wait it in. Casaros wasn't having anything about it. So a yellow card. And going against Jose Sosa for the ensuing foul, joining Cortez in the books. Uh, Sosa collecting his second booking of 2022. Such an instrumental player for the Bruins at the center of everything. So Vialadea standing over it. The Spaniard, and he's yet to find this game. Drives in a beautiful ball in, and Grayson Duty just eats it up. Smith Hasty now. Colonna forward from that set piece, plays it in. Only as far as Nicholas Blasu, and it's going to be Edwards brought down by Smith Hasty. Free kick for UCLA. Here's Tommy Silva. Paul Rainbow has dropped into his own half with high frequency tonight. <laughs> Trying to find the game himself. Still looking to break open his goal scoring account. He's a collegiate athlete, the freshman. Silva can't keep it in. Back to Katsaros, the junior. Came through that Seattle Sounders Youth Academy. Cretier going with a direct approach. Tommy Silva, he's been brilliant tonight on the left-hand side for UCLA. Very busy. Smart ball play by Sosa. This is duty. And gets in, finds that gap, supported by Andrea Choa. Sosa. The arriving Silva. San Diego State very deep. Silva's ball, a bullet, repelled nicely here. Here's Costa Michaelidis surveying his options. Rainbow trying to play it through for Silva, who's onside. This is better from the Bruins. Trying to get some wit. Drop of the shoulder once again from Michaelidis. And once again, Bowen up to the task, but well done by the Cypriot, who's won the corner kick. Substitution here for UCLA. We'll see the reintroduction of Jose Conte. So Rainbow off. A little bit of a switch here, and this is a rotational policy. And They have a midfield attacking rotation. The players can you know, chop and change and play in midfield, play up top, and we'll see who takes the spot of Rainbow. Meanwhile, Conte meets the corner kick, but can't steer it in the right direction. Goal kick now for San Diego State. So Rainbow is operating really as that number nine. Now Conte will take up his spot in the center, flanked, of course, by Michalidis, as well as Aaron Edwards is proving to be Mr. Versatile. Edwards originally a highly touted striker on the front line out of Northern California and thrust into a defensive role. In his first couple of years in Westwood, adapting to it really well, but Ryan Jordan opting to use him in his more natural position, perhaps, here on the right-hand side of this Bruin attack. He's won the free kick. He's a strong, combative character. Came off the bench for 39 minutes on Sunday against UW, the fewest minutes he's played in 2022. But I'm going to do a roll with one assist, setting one up for Kevin Diaz on the equalizer last month against Cal. Here's Tommy Silva trying to switch the point of attack for Riley Furch. 
Knocks it down for Nick Blasu. Just a steady presence is what Ryan Jordan tells me and what Blasu provides. Here's Silva. More cut and thrust, early ball in. And easy enough for Castro. Castro looks the part, doesn't he? Six foot four. Has the build, the physique for a keeper. And a career high six saves in a comfort behind 2 2 draw away to Creighton early last month. Team showed a lot of character. Trying to string it together now. CJ Fodre in a foot race plays it early. Blasu didn't know much about it, but got his body in just the right position. And Furch gives it away. Katsoros. Well weighted now for Fodre, the onrusher. Can he pull it back? Yes. And Blasu once again showing a good reading of the game. Able to clear it away from danger. This is Edwards. And Duty hits the diagonal for Costa Michaelidis, who plays Silva. And they're going to call this one back. It looks as though it's Fodre is a little bit slow to get up. He took some licks in the first half. Play stopped at the 58-57 mark, and there you get a look. Time for Pac-12 in points with 10 already in double digits. Conference season just barely halfway through. Good marks for a freshman, C.J. Fodre. <laughs> Actually played in the USL, which is the second professional division. Scored a couple of goals in 21 appearances for Landon Donovan, San Diego Loyal. They're coming through the LA Galaxy Youth Academy here in Southern California, Fodre. Two of those four coming in that two goal comeback against Creighton. And here it is, and it breaks nicely. This is Brummett trying to play it in for Rue. Flag is down, Rue pulls it back, but there is Crockford able to cover up at the near post. Good movement from San Diego State asking the questions. Crockford, though, with a nice reading of the game to put this one out. They call him the fireman. Nate Crockford, this is why he puts him out. Back at the other end, this is Furch. As we hit the hour mark. Sosa, duty. So it's pulling the strings. Conte showing really well. And they pick the lock here as Furch has the movement of Michaelides. They need something special, UCLA, and Edwards cross. It's a good one. Just knocking Katsaros back a little bit, but the defender did just enough. Corner kick upcoming. Look at the trajectory, the power on this cross. And on a rope. Oh, and attacking it at the near post. Substitution, Kevin Diaz will enter the picture once again for UCLA. Apolinar coming back on Vialadea, who's just come back from injury recently. Hasn't had much say in it. It's just his sixth appearance of the season. So Apolinar back on, the all-action man. And here's the near side corner kick from Tommy Silva. His could take it short with Sosa. Michaelidis goes to the bench now and on the in swinger. Nicely headed away by San Diego State's Kyle Colonna. This is a Choa. And Silva able to track it down, trying to square it. And that allows San Diego State just to dip in, but the clearance not good enough. Sosa's header, and it was there for Blasu. Sosa's ball, beautiful in, and Blasu couldn't shape his body to keep it down. Wonderful look. First touch set himself up. Wonderful trajectory. Blasu will want to have that one back. All he had to do was just steer it on targets that had all the whip and power behind it. Blasu was still looking for his first goal as a UCLA Bruin. Lasu 
Not starting tonight, coming on in relief of Pietro Grassi. Played 47 minutes on Sunday, that loss to UW. He's been a nice utility man back there, primarily operating in the center of defense. He'll be up against it here on this free kick from Tristan Viviani. Still looking for our first goal as we head into the final half an hour of this one. Tristan Viviani now for San Diego State. Takes a run over, and this will be Henry Smith Hasty, who belts one to the corner. Flag had gone up, a little foul, and a shove in the back, spotted by the AR over there. A little too handsy there from Kyle Colonna. Goal scoring becoming an issue for UCLA. Here's Edwards trying to end the drought. Full head of steam, blowing pass, cuts Soros, he's in. Edwards trying to play it. It's a good run from the UCLA man. Duty helps it on. Achoa squares it for Solsa. This is Furch. Blasu joining in, and all 10 outfield players in that San Diego State half for UCLA. Diaz. I love nothing more to score against this San Diego State team. Scored the first of his career back in 2021 in that strange spring season. That technically was called 2020. Here's Grayson Duty for Jose Sosa. Back in, and it's nearly on, and it was. Diaz arrives, but couldn't keep it down. Patient, and it was precise. Duty leaves it off, and Sosa with a head up, no pressure on the ball, just picks it out and puts it right off the volley from Diaz, who had the option of going with the head. It was going to be a tough angle for Kevin Diaz. Already a couple of goals this season, but... Love nothing more than to get back into the goal scoring mood. Back the other way and it breaks now for Diaz. It's a 2v4. Got a lot of work in front of him. Diaz twisting and turning, trying to play it for Edwards, who's on side. And he'll need some support. Duty arrives and enters the box. It's Duty. Just slices it, appeals for the handball. Referee is pointed to the spot. Penalty kick for UCLA. No hesitation. It's Edwards patiently waits, and he attacks the space duty so well. Hits the outside of it, and is that a handball? It's going to be harsh against Smith Hasty. It looked as though his arms were in line with his body. Did he make himself bigger? That is the criteria. And from our first initial look at it, it didn't appear to be the case. Referee thinks otherwise. Let's take another look at it. Edwards plays it. Duty arrives, does the right thing, doesn't hit it well. There's that ball in. That is harsh against Smith Hasty. Not much he could do about that. Considering the flight to the ball had that hand in line, no doubt it did hit the hand. But was it extended? The answer, no in line with his body. Nonetheless, it'll be a trip to the spot. And San Diego State feeling aggrieved. Meanwhile, a little bit of an injury worry for Noah Kretzier, and you need to look at Ryan Hopkins, very upset with the decision from referee Alex Del Angel. He's awarded the penalty kick, and this is a game changer. So words of encouragement for Jacob Castro, and it looks as though he's going to go mano in mano against Jose Sosa. UCLA, 0 for 1 from the spot. Kevin Diaz had one saved earlier this season. This time, it's Sosa's turn. A monumental moment in this Pac-12 season is Sosa 
looking to open his goal scoring account from the penalty spot. And it's Sosa on the run up, and it's 1 0. Cool as a cucumber. And UCLA plays out in front, 65 minutes in. It's the Bruins 1, the Aztecs 0. Took it coolly, sent the keeper the wrong way. That's how you do it. Silky stuff and the Ronaldo celebration. You can't hit it any sweeter than that. And Jose Sosa with a big goal. Just his second for UCLA since arriving from Pacific. He's got the first tonight, and that's all that counts. Handball against Smith Hasty, a little harsh. Nonetheless, the Bruins out in front. So we'll see how San Diego State adjusts. It's a good response from CJ Fodre. He's starting to find this game. Good looking cross, and oh my goodness, it was so close as they had the on rushing. Rami Jared Lee has come in for Donovan Rue. Drifted in from the right hand side and the sure hands of Crockford to the rescue. Crockford hunting for his fifth clean sheet. Down the line from duty. Into the path of Edwards and the fire put out by Katsaros, the junior. Throwing, nevertheless, and this is where Edwards, it's almost a set piece here. He's got a real long throw, Aaron Edwards. And he'll heave one into the area, and rising was Conte. Silva trying to wrap his left foot around it. And there is Smith Hasty. UCLA restore possession. Machoa just brought down. Once again, this time it's Brummett. Can't argue that one. Austin Brummett, the freshman from Bo, New Hampshire. Long ways from home as Sosa serves it up and too strong for Ochoa. Good hands from Castro. Assured. Higher pressure now from the Bruins, trying to kill this game off. Viviani comes in full-blooded. Brummett trying to round Blasu and plays it off. The UCLA transfer throw in for the Aztecs. He may feel aggrieved. Nonetheless, forced to take something positive, and if they're going to do so, they're going to have to do it in comeback fashion. They've done it against Creighton. They'll need it tonight. Here's Fodre. And a tug at the top there from Duty. Duty appealing his case. Another look. This is fascinating. Good strength from Fodre. Little shoulder to shoulder. Got away with it a little bit as UCLA defender grabbing the top of the San Diego State attacker. So third corner of the night for the Aztecs. It'll be Smith Hasty coming over to take it, the senior. And they brought the heavy artillery forward. Smith Hasty delivers. The header is on. It's off the line. And over the bar by Fodre. <laughs> UCLA wobbling here. Beautiful delivery. Crockford doesn't come for it. They don't clear, and Fodre couldn't keep it down. Couldn't wrap that right foot around it. Crockford's got to come and claim that. Once again, the Bruins. They've been let off the hook on a few occasions this evening. And time. Getting away by the skin of their teeth. Here's Riley Furch muscled off of it by Jared Lee. Throw in now for UCLA. <laughs> 
Yeah, midway through the second half, great to have you along. UCLA up a goal to nil, thanks to his 65th minute penalty kick from Jose Sosa. After the referee pointed to the spot following a Henry Smith hasty handball, play is stopped right now at the 68-56 mark. Actually a free kick for the Bruins, all the way back to Crockford. Haven't seen the pressing that we saw from San Diego State early on, and that is a lovely ball from Blasu. This is Furch. A line breaker of a pass from the UCLA defender. Ochoa for Sosa. UCLA trying to manage this game and see it out. The drought finally over. Ending a run, a goalless run of 277 minutes. With that penalty kick, the drought is over. Blasu under some pressure from Fordre. This is duty, heavy on the touch and just clears it away. And it's Conte giving chase. He's gotten goal side. Done well, Conte sets it up. This is Diaz twisting and turning on the back foot. Silva! Positive moment, good football from UCLA. Slick and bristling with confidence right now. It was Diaz, a slight moment of indecision, but a lovely taquito with Silva. Just hits it first time. And that one just high. San Diego State in that conundrum right now. How much should they pour forward in search of the equalizer, but how much space do they want to give up? Shots in this half kind of tell the story. UCLA getting more and more comfortable. Back the other side. And here they come once again, Brummett. That ball just too far behind Jared Lee. Throw in now for the Bruins. Such an important game, not just from a results standpoint and a points standpoint, but from a confidence standpoint. Positive performances, but no points in those defeats against UW and Oregon State. Trying to get a little bit of the both tonight. Furch plays Ochoa. Has the option of Edwards, who slips around one. Edwards is in. Pushed aside by Katsaros. No penalty at all. Not even close. The shoulder to shoulder. Brilliant first touch from Edwards to round his way past the defender on that inside channel, full speed ahead. And a physical brand of defending shoulder to shoulder from Elias Katsaros. Edwards, a robust physical presence on that right-hand side. San Diego State still looking for their first shot on target of the second half, trying to piece it together in the attacking half. A little befuddled here. Conte's header on out. UCLA. You know, having played one less game than San Diego State, looking for victory number six. Their 11th outing. The throw in for Viviani. Headed on by Brummett, Blasu. It's Jared Lee. And questions of a handball there on Fodre. The referees called this one back, and that indeed was the case. Clear case of handling from the San Diego State striker. I'll tell you what, though, he has been a thorn in their side. Fodrick drifting in from that left-hand side. No doubt about it. Clear hand ball against the Aztec winger. And he's going to be a good one for the future. Let's see why he was so highly regarded by Landon Donovan and brought into that senior setup for... San Diego loyal.
Rare possession here on the right-hand side for San Diego State. Looking for Brummett. He needs to get a hold of it. He's done well under the challenge of Salsa. Squares it. This is Bowen. Smith Hasty sends one over now. This is Fodre. The cross delivered. The header is there, but Bowen sending it into the turf, and it bounces safely into the gloves of Nate Crockford. Field up play, really slick here. Smith Hasty plays Fodre. Had time to take a touch, set himself up. And the header, a little disappointing from Blake Bowen. Didn't test the keeper. It's kind of really symbolic of the way things have gone tonight for the Aztecs. They've had some, so many positive moments in their approach. That one just goes astray. Throw in for UCLA. So we head into the final quarter of an hour here at Wallace Annenberg Stadium. It's a big part of the campaign, a big part of the schedule. Diaz unable to claim. Jared Lee does. Here come the Aztecs. Brummett is in, is in. Out comes the keeper. He got it wrong, and it was Brummett who couldn't pick out that far corner. Scary moment for UCLA as San Diego State come ever so close. This is brilliant work from Jared Lee. Rides the challenge, picks up his head, plays it in for Brummett. What a lovely run, and just slips it between the legs. Crockford couldn't get there in time, and once again, UCLA let off the hook. Rue back on, Jared Lee off. Let's take a look at it again. And this is Jared Lee. Digs it out under the challenge of Diaz. Waits it perfectly for an onside. Brummett, who just picks his spot, but it's off by a matter of inches. They're getting closer, though. And here's Conte. His play opens up on the left for the Bruins. Silva arrives. He's got Diaz waiting. The cross for Edwards. Wow. Edwards tried to hit it on the volley, and what a goal that would have been. Time after time, Silva attacking space. Just whips in a perfect ball to that far post. San Diego State don't deal with it. End to end stuff, but Tommy Silva, a tireless engine. Magnificent stuff. Might get it from his mom, who is a marathoner, but his stamina and fitness off the charts. Viviani. Fordre just shaking out duty who goes to the floor. Might have taken a shot to the face. Referee had a great look at it. And Alex Delano says, get up and play on. Here's a look. Just a shot there. Not much in it in the end. So back we go. Smith Hasty over the head of Fodre. You say trying to restore order here in midfield. It's a better spell in the last minute or two from San Diego State. You can't say they haven't come with their motto, empty the tank, which is written on the collar of their shirt, meaning leave it all out on the pitch, give your maximum. Done every bit of that tonight. Apolinar claims. Rue over Brummett. Sublime stuff in Blasu taking no chances in clearing it away. It's good soccer from San Diego State. Putting UCLA under duress. The Bruins uncomfortable right now. Fodre. Do a sea of blue. Smith Hasty arrives, plays it in, and and shepherded to safety by Grace and Duty. Goal kick for the Bruins and Nick Crockford. Hunting for their fifth clean sheet of 2012. After blanking Cal State Fullerton Stanford. Virginia Tech and against UC Irvine back in August. I got, I got 
Bradford mops up well. Kelowna wins the header. This is Blake Bowen now for San Diego State. And Blake Bowen drives one. No one closing down ball. And Bowen invited forward. The senior couldn't put it on target. Once again, in that final third, they've just lacked that quality habit there. Just invited forward, no one closing down the ball, and Bowen can't blame him for taking that chance. Feeling the confidence as well, had that goal against Oregon State on Sunday, skips over to Furch now, and here is Bowen providing the thrust through the center, in, this is CJ Fodre, deflection out, corner kick, upcoming. San Diego State are all over UCLA right now. <laughs> Good stuff from Bowen. Nips in. Perfectly waited for Fodre, who timed it. Great recovery from Blasu. He's gotten so many blocks in tonight. Nick Blasu, who's deputized well for the injured Pietro Grassi. Corner kick upcoming now. The fourth of the night for the Aztecs. Smith Hasty delivers. And once again, it's that man, Blasu, able to head it clear. And Kretier coming over the back of Diaz, free kick for UCLA. A matter of time, and that was called. Now, 10 minutes left for the Aztecs to find an equalizer. You can't say it's for not for lack of trying. For all the positive approach play and all those half chances, still yet to put one on target and trouble Nate Crockford in the second half. Just one shot. Here's Fodre. Closed down by Blasu. Fodre pulls it back. Then drifted over the byline. <laughs> Well, we knew it was going to be a good one when these two get together. Five goals between them last November and that 4-1 win at the sports deck. It came after a 1-0 triumph for UCLA in Westwood last October. I mean, Tucker Lepley got it eight minutes into the first overtime period to take all three points. Been a long time coming. Six games without a win against the Bruins for San Diego State. And to take something positive here, Apollinar's done well. The cross is in. Fodre waiting and smart decision there from Duty. Kept his cool and chested it down for his keeper. Approach play from Apollinar strong. Rides the challenge from Conte. One, not for the f first time tonight, Apollinar slow to get up. He's the man down. Play stopped just after the 82-minute mark. Look ahead to the schedule here for the UCLA Bruins. As I mentioned, Sunday, head across town to take on Loyola Marymount in a non-conference game. Then coming up six days later, they'll take on Cal here in Westwood. And on the 23rd, it's set to entertain number five Stanford as Jeremy Gunn and company come rolling into town away to Rutgers with a break from conference play and then heading up to Seattle. Beginning of November to take on the number one team in the country, the Washington Huskies, who just handed the Bruins a 1-0 defeat last weekend. Look at it coming up for San Diego State. Well, a bit of a San Diego derby coming up on the 15th on Saturday against USD and then home clashes against the Bay Area School, Stanford and Cal before paying a visit to Oregon State and Washington. The cliche is no easy games, but my goodness, it really is true. It's gonna be a dogfight to the bitter end. As it stands right now, a chance for the UCLA Bruins to move three points clear in the Pac-12 standings if this result holds with the win tonight. 
Inigo Villadilla has come in for San Diego State, taking his place in midfield. Been largely anonymous. Player who is all Pac-12 first team, started the season with injury, as I mentioned. Back the other way, Diaz trying to nip in. It is Kevin Diaz, 1v3. Diaz blocked well by Colonna. Here's Edwards. Edwards trying to leave it off, and that one disseminates. Slight scare back there, and it opens up for Cretier trying to pick out Rue. JC Cortez has just checked in, and Rue just colliding with Crockford. And a real intriguing game, this one. And the other way now. Edwards trying to latch onto it. Colonna wearing the armband tonight. One of the co-captains out there with Vialadia. Here's Smith Hasty. Vialadia trying to pick out the run of Viviani to no avail. Duty plays Conte. It's a one-two C2 well by Henry Smith Hasty, able to break it up. Former SMU Mustang did well, but his clearance only as far as duty. UCLA on top of the Aztecs right now. Furch is hovered between the lines, wide for Diaz. The overlap is on for Silva. They could use a good spell. Just a little over six minutes left in this one. Blasu nearly caught. Ochoa. Crowd on its feet here. You could feel the intensity. Nervous moments as Conte rounds Viviani. Conte sets it up. Trouble here for San Diego State. It ricochets in. It's Tommy Silva. Game, set, and match. They are flipping out in Bruinland. It's UCLA 2, San Diego State nil. That's going to do it. And it's all down to Jose Conte. Cretier doesn't deal with it, and Silva crushes it. A gift for the Bruin defender. And for the fourth time in his career, he struck against the Aztecs. It had to be him. Delight for UCLA, but again, a drop of the shoulder from Jose Conte, who rides the challenge from Viviani. Forces San Diego State to deal with it. They don't. And Silva says, thank you very much. The simplest of tap-ins on the gift and the backflip to boot. That's how you celebrate. And UCLA headed to victory. Tommy Silva with his first of 2022. Had a half dozen last term. Two of which came in that big win for the Bruins last November. Actually had an assist in that one as well. He loves playing San Diego State. And he's going to like this result as it will end the two-game losing streak unless San Diego State can conjure up something miraculous here in the last five and a half minutes. Vialadea. Lovely ball from Vialadeo, the header just over the head, you have to say, of Viviani. And it's given away by Conte. Conte first to it, referee's gonna stop the play here. And this is gonna be an interesting decision. He's awarded the free kick. It looked to be Conte, first to it, who won it. It's been a great game. KG to start. A little imprecise in terms of finishing. And now CJ Fodre has taken a seat on the floor. Looks to be another case of the cramps. 
He's had a great game forward rate. Pace, 1v1. Shown good combination play, primarily down this left-hand side. So the medical staff will come in 10 to San Diego, or 10 to the, Medi the San Diego State number seven. Let's look at it one more time. Conte, full head of steam. This is born out of grit and determination. Started off with Conte, able to win it back. And then tackle sets it up. The kind of play that's symbolic of Jose Conte's combative spirit. Here it is right now. He rounds Viviani. Just a quick burst of pace. Cretier doesn't deal with it. Lackadaisical. And Tommy Silva says, thank you very much. And that will put it on ice. UCLA headed for victory number six, their second in conference. A much needed one for them. We'll see where they stand when the dust settles after the weekend. Bruins came into tonight level on points with San Diego State. Vialadia now sends in a teasing free kick. Viviani, Vialadia. This has a drop for the Spaniard tonight. Largely anonymous. A shrug of the shoulders kind of tells the story. Such a gifted player. And a goal from the spot against Oregon State on Sunday after missing the first half dozen games through injury. A player that really provides a lot of European experience and leadership in the center of the park. Part of that resurgence here. Don't count San Diego State out. It's a team that's on the up, a program that's improving. Here's Conte, meanwhile. The catalyst drops this shoulder. Trying to race past Smith Hasty, who did well. <laughs> Duty. Back for Blasu. Silva all the way forward, squares it now for Ochoa. This is Furch. And Pablo Greenlee stepped onto the pitch to the number 13 in blue for UCLA, the junior fullback from Hollywood. Here's Furch now, and it's San Diego State forced to chase. Back the other way, it breaks for Silva, and it's fire put out, this time from Katsaros. There won't be an assist for Jose Conte, but he was the architect of that equalizer, or that second goal, rather. And it breaks now for Rue. Trying to play Viviani, and it's Greenlee who steps in. And it's looking for that clean sheet. Achoa wins it. Plays it for Conte, the catalyst once again. Sizing up the lose, and he'll go into the corner. There's less than two minutes left in this one. And it'll come out now for a San Diego State goal kick. Well, just the goal that, and the victory that UCLA needed. Questions around the attack. And a 277-minute goal drought. Four and a half hours without a goal, and they're certainly glad that's behind them. Here's Viviani trying to spur his mates on and make a game of it late on. It may be a bridge too far. Lovely ball across, but Bowen, the team header. Not enough pace on the cross. 
for Bowen to redirect. And we head into the final minute here. Happy night. Good crowd on hand for UCLA and rewarded and coming out and rooting on their Bruins. Back the other way for Vialadea and Vialadea ill-advised. UCLA found themselves in a four-way tie, mm. four tie on four points. Mm. Mm. And for the time being now, we'll move up to seven points. Mm. Mm. And UCLA take it two goals to nil. Second half goals, Jose Sosa from the penalty spot. And who else but Tommy Silva putting it on ice on the 85th minute. And the losing streak is behind them as the Bruins back into the win column for the sixth time this season.